welcome to the channel thank you everybody for tuning in now i hope the intro didn't scare you guys too much but i had to make a dramatic impact on this watch this watch by far is one of my most favorite watches of 2021 as you probably saw in the unboxing of this merca i was very very excited to receive this watch uh, in fact i'd waited three months for this watch there's a bit of a story to that i'll touch on that just shortly and you know what this watch is all that and more i praise this highly in my unboxing and my opinion has not changed since that i've worn this watch i've tried and tested it and i absolutely love what merca have done with this now before i continue i am going to need you guys to hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the notifications bell so you're up to date with all the latest reviews and make sure you check the links in the description make sure you watch the entire video because i will be putting up a massive discount code if you do decide to purchase this watch from merca now story time why did this take three months to get to me now initially when i ordered this i ordered a black version and a green version i'll pop up pictures as i, as I talk about it now i don't know a week in maybe a month in i got informed that the green version is not available initially when i did buy it you know uh, they were saying yes it's available and um, but halfway through they're telling me no it's not available we've had you know distributor problems supplier problems etc etc um and then i opted for the blue one again that's not available i'll put up the color options now so i was you know what very very disheartened i had my heart and eyes set on that green one you know i do love a green dial very partial to it um but sadly it didn't happen so i just said you know what just just send me the black one please yeah so it took three months to get here um but the good news is since my unboxing they have re released two new color options uh they've got sapphire bezel inserts if not if i'm not mistaken and i'll put our pictures to them right now uh, so please make sure you check out the america website um aside from the green and the blue which are absolutely fantastic um they do have the orange black sapphire bezel edition and a sort of ice blue edition both again look fantastic and i think you'll be getting the orange one as soon as the chinese new year is over now as you can tell you know this is called the merca ocean master professional 300 meters but as you can tell this is a homage to the 6105 captain willard and make no mistake about that i think uh this confused a couple of the subscribers in the video in the unboxing um but we've got to remember when we use the word homage it's only due to aliexpress that we think homage means copage or exact replica you know i'm not saying this looks you know very similar to the uh original captain willard of course it doesn't but that's my point this is a revamped edition and nicknamed by myself as the king willard so to reiterate this is undoubtedly a homage to the 6105 you know you've got the design features that obviously make it so it's not similar to the 6309 turtle at all in fact captain willard was not even called the turtle you know the steel dive that captain willard yes we can call it that because it's very very similar to the original seiko model however I love this thing here because of how similar it is with the case design, but how different it is. As I said in the unboxing, this is the Captain Willard or King Willard on steroids. So let's go ahead, cover all the technical details. Let's look at the specifications and the dimensions. So spec wise, you've got a full 316L stainless steel case, bezel, crown, case back. You also have a double dome air coated sapphire crystal. You've got a 120 click unidirectional bezel with a loomed ceramic insert. You've got 300 meters of water resistance with a screw down case back and a screw down crown. The movement used in this watch is the ever so trusty and reliable Seiko Epson NH35 movement. It's a 24 joule movement, hack and wind capability with a date function, beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour, gives you a sweep of six ticks a second. Rated accuracy is minus 20 to plus 40. However, in my experience, they run under 10 seconds plus or minus a day. Dimensions, watch comes in at 44 millimeters across. You've got a thickness of 14 and a half millimeters and a log to log of 47.5. You have a log width of 22 millimeters and a overall weight on this strap that you see 133 grams. So in usual fashion, Let's break this watch down. Let's give it that in-depth review and break it down element by element, design feature by design feature. And let's start off at the dial. Now for me, the dial adds to this beefed up look that this watch gives off. You've got thick hour markers, thick 
large hands and you also got a very bold lettering on the ceramic bezel insert and you know just that general look that it gives off is a beefed up version of the captain willard when we take a closer look you'll see that all the hour markers are indeed applied you've got a mixture of circular markers and these thick rectangular like batons at the six and the nine and a dual marker at the 12 o'clock they've all got this polished frame around each marker you've got a chamfered applied date window at the date which is at three o'clock and you've got printing at the six o'clock ocean master professional with 300 meters in red to match that red tipped seconds hand now the merca logo by far looks amazing on this watch because you've got a brushed applied silver merca logo in chunky bold lettering you've also got a black chapter ring where the minute markers are slightly thinner than the hour markers now due to the dome of the crystal the dial does give off this appearance of a satin like finish however upon closer inspection and uh, the dial in fact i believe it is actually matte in color but that dome gives it that satin look now when we turn our attention to the handsets that's been used uh, they're very similar to the gs style dive hands that you see on the gs versions of the marine masters you know they're kind of cathedral-esque uh, on the hour hand but i really like the width and the shape of the hands the dimensions are perfect as well uh, good proportions you know you've got these tips um, that do stick out so on the minute hand you know it allows you to identify the minute that you're actually trying to set the watch to and that second hand um, with that red which matches the 200 meters is a great design feature and what you'll also notice is the length of the second hand it looks like it's almost scraping the side of that chapter ring now the ceramic bezel inset is a mixture of numerals batons for the minute markings and dots following one after the 20 minute mark now because this is a dive watch the batons stop at the 20 minutes which is uh, i think the minimum you need uh, for a watch to be considered a dive watch in fact i think the minimum is 15 minutes but they've extended about 20 minutes that's because you know the usual time on an oxygen tank is around 20 minutes now i did mention that this bezel insert is loomed so have a look at the loom the loom on this watch absolutely blows you away very very bright c3 super luminova applied through and through on the hour markers on the hand that lollipop end on the second hand and it only illuminates up to the 20 minute mark now you think why isn't the full bezel illuminated as i mentioned the focus of this watch was in and around diving so really and truly when you are down in the depths of the waters you only want to see that 20 minute time scale the longevity of this loom you know it's going to be considerable uh, as you know c3 super luminova we've seen it a lot of watches and you know it's been applied perfectly and this definitely satisfies the loom chasers out there the sapphire used on this watch is as mentioned a double dome sapphire crystal with ar coating on the underside yes the sapphire crystal is slightly intrusive there is a little bit too much glare on the watch um, but we do see this through and throughout a lot of watches from aliexpress can you live with it under normal light conditions? Yes, you absolutely can. Uh, when you are in the sun or when you are surrounded by light, then it does get in the way of the dial slightly. But the distortion side of it, because it is double dome, you hardly get any distortion on extreme angles. Now, Merca have also opted for a quite a chunky bezel on this watch. That gives you tons of grip. Now, there's also a slight taper going up towards the top, but you've got ample grip and it's been machined really well. There's no sharp edges. Um, and like I said, easy to hold on to. And when we look at the bezel rotation, uh, you know, it's actually not needed. The bezel rotation is so fluid, but just have a closer look at that machining, that quality. And overall, you know, this bezel does add to that beefed up look present on the Merca. Now, I want to talk about something. I've got the crown sticking out for a purpose. Now, if you're wondering what that red, you know, uh, color is, or that red tube, now that's a... Uh, prevention method so that's to prevent you from leaving the screw undone when you see that red it should instantly let you know that you do need to screw down that crown and you can also see a glimpse of that lock engraving around the crown we'll cover that a little bit later on but just have a look at that red tube fantastic feature visually it looks great as well but it also serves a functional purpose again tying it in with this being made with diving in mind now when we move on to the case you know, this watch in hand, you really do get a sense of, you know, that attention to detail and that superior quality, you know, through and throughout at every single feature that you look at, every surface that you touch. Now, with the case, you've got circular brushing across the A-face, going down to the curved logs, um, and it's it's done to a really high level. You know, it's not very coarse. It is quite smooth, uh, and you can feel that. But the fact that it's brushed is also going to prevent all those little micro-scratches appearing. 
Now, what makes this finishing different to any other 6105 case? Well, in my eyes, I've not seen anything like this. You've got this polished lip that goes around the edge and such a subtle feature, but it totally does transform the look of the watch, adds these gorgeous highlights along the sides. And it's because of this, I think it adds that touch of class. Uh, and for a split second, you kind of forget that this is, you know, a dive watch, a tool watch. And that polishing does continue on to the side of the watch. You can see that's finished to a very high mirror polish. Um, the fact that you can see my hands on my camera on there. But that is a danger zone. That's where you'll catch a lot of scuffs there. Now, let's look at the crown. You've got the lock logo engraved. Again, a nod to the original 6105. The nailing on the crown is perfect. The machining is great. Absolute pleasure to use. And the thickness of the crown makes it very easy to use with very smooth threading. On the case back, you've got circular brushing and you've got linear brushing on the back of the watch. And you've got this engraved uh, turtle, which has got bead blasted background and highly polished logo with your usual specifications, just engraved around the turtle now i've purposely made you guys wait for the bezel rotation i want to do this whole segment including the wrist shot and the conclusion in in one go Just listen to that ASMR, that bezel rotation is superb on this watch. It's one of the nicest bezel rotations I have felt. You know, it's not like my usual, that buttery smooth uh, feel where I've, uh, I do enjoy the subtle clicks that you get. But with this, the clicks, um, you can hear them. It's got positive clicks, but you know, it's neither firm, neither soft. You know, it's very fluid. You don't really need to apply that much pressure and there's no hot spots. It rotates perfectly. You can hear every single click. You can feel every single click. Now, the main question on, on your mind probably is, how does it align? The alignment isn't too good on this. I'll show you what I mean. Let's get you a bit closer here. So to me, it just looks, you know, just off. Now, that doesn't bother me, but I know there's a lot of specific guys on uh, watching this review. So it will probably bother some where it's just off by a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. But as I said, that actually doesn't bother me. You can pull it back a bit. You've got, you know, a, a quarter of a click of back play, but the actual bezel, there's no movement in it at all. It's a very well made bezel. I've got to tell you that. Pleasure, pleasure to rotate. And it works really well. So let's flick through the time, show you guys the hands in action. There we go, the crown screwed down with that red tube. As mentioned, you know, it's to stop it from failing, is to let you know, screw me down when you're done. So you can hand wind this movement, uh, pop it at once, and then you've got the date function. Now the date isn't exactly centered, but that's due to that date window. It does consume some space. Uh, if there was no date window, you surely will be able to see the whole date within that square. So we pull it out again. Now this movement hacks, stops the seconds and so you can set accurate time. Just go through the time. Click it back and screw back down once you are done. Let's put this on the wrist. Actually, before I do that, I've not spoken about the bracelet uh, or the strap. Now, uh, first impressions when I did the unboxing, the strap stood out to me massively. I mean, look how soft it is. Now, usually the straps of this nature, and you know, if they look like this, you know, you think they're going to be quite stiff and quite uncomfortable. Um, but this is made from that FKM uh, silicon rubber stuff. Um, and you know what? It was, um, I initially thought I would be changing this strap, but Honestly, uh, I've seen no need to change the strap at all. You've got some nice detailing. You've got some logos on the back and it does fit really well. It's very, very soft. Just look at the stretchiness of that. And you can tell by how flimsy it is, you know, but not flimsy in a negative way. It's still very solid and very strong. Now looking at that buckle, uh, safety buckle, absolutely massive. And they've done that again for another reason, just to give this watch that bigger presence. And as, as I've been saying, give it that beefed up look. So yeah, wrist check. I'm still wearing the Zelos black tip. We can put that on onto the side. 
Now the strap itself, um, it's got good length to it. I've got it on the second to last hole for my six and a half inch wrist. And you know, even though the dimensions on paper, they sound quite big, but this is what Seiko do with the 6105s, the turtles as well. The dimensions seem quite big at first, but when you do wear it on the wrist, you know, the case actually curves down much smaller, giving you a smaller presence. And I'll say this in multiple reviews, Seiko are the kings of making big watches wear really small. And I think that's a good fit on the wrist very light uh, and comfortable that wrist uh, that strap does really wrap around your wrist and even though it looks you know quite stiff it actually isn't conforms to the wrist really well you can just see there great fit now strap changes if you're wondering and uh, they would be pretty easy you do have uh, those quick release spring bars let's get this off so i can show you but there is one thing with these spring bars uh, I did take off the strap and I find it quite difficult to get back on is I don't know if you can see but the actual spring bars have been curved intentionally now I did find a tool online uh, which actually curves spring bars so it's not bent if that makes sense has been bent or jammed in it's actually been curved uh, just to conform to the case so what I have done for you guys I've put it on a tropical 22 mil strap now a waffle strap will fit this fine as well leather straps you know um, anything obviously with a flat end the thing with stainless steel bracelets um i've found you know with this 6105 captain willard i've had plenty of steel dives in as well i've never really liked the stainless steel bracelets to me they just don't seem to match but of course it's you know highly subjective if you like a stainless steel bracelet then so be it with this you'll just need a flat end one um, to make it fit and you'll be good to go but just you know if you don't like that bulky vert you know that look that you get from the strap that comes on the watch feel free to go for something just a little bit more uh, streamlined so now you're probably waiting for the discount code uh it's watcher fans it's also in the description so you could have seen it anytime uh while you're watching the video now that gives you 50 dollars off each and any individual watch that you buy take a look around in the store they do have a few nice watches there they've got a gmt pilot slash dive watch available which looks absolutely fantastic i might be getting that in quite soon uh, and they also have like a lot of dressier watches they've got the seagull uh, 1963 chinese pilot watches they've got a couple of their own and they also do that Al the original alpinist uh, they've called it the conqueror also on the website now the discount will apply to all and you know a couple of things just to address on that so a few people said in the pictures that the red second hand is not shown um i actually didn't notice that so my bad uh, but the one that you will get will be with the red second hand now the orange one's available the ice blue one is also available uh just a shame about the green and the blue to be honest i'm hopefully i'm hoping that you do get them in sometime throughout the year um but that being said you know what big shout out to Merca. you know thank you very much to them for giving such a massive discount code for everyone watching all the subscribers you know the price of this watch it does seem quite a lot at first but when you do take off that 50 dollars uh you know it makes it very very affordable amazing value for money and uh, it just brings it down and makes it extremely competitive with all the other brands out there now on that point i can summarize you know i think where do i stand you know i'm gonna have mixed opinions i can already tell in the comment section you know um they are diehard 6105 captain willard homage fans and yes you know what not everyone's gonna like this uh and what i do like about this in all honesty i was kind of falling out of love with the 6105 8000 case that steel dive i haven't worn mine in such a long time um but when this come out you know this um i'm more inclined to this style of dial as i mentioned i do really like these seco-esque uh, marine master style indices hands and i like that beefed up version it makes it look like a more of a tool watch very chunky it does make it you know updated um to the original design so if you like a revamped version you want something that you know does have that classical shape but is you know beefier keep using the word you know captain willard on steroids this will definitely be the one to go for i don't think anyone will regret it i know a few people did buy one i just want to i'm really interested in hearing your opinions on the watch um i absolutely love it you know um there's no catch to it at all i do really love it a couple of things to mention now um the lock yeah it's actually the wrong way around let's zoom in here so i don't know if you can see that there we go the lock should be written the other way and the arrow should be pointing the other way 
bit of oversight uh, on their side. You know, I'm assuming there'll be people that this will really bother. It actually doesn't bother me. I don't hardly ever look at the crown that side. And anything else? Um, really nothing else, you know. I'm not going to comment on design, for example. I really like what they've done. Of course, when it comes to design, everyone can have an opinion. Um, but I really do like what they have done. i say it again. You know, I've spoken about it throughout the review. And there's nothing really more for me to add except just a couple of outstanding features. You know, the bezel rotation excellent love the dial of hands um you know just doing that again very smooth i love the loom on it and one thing that did set this apart from me like i said there are quite a few 6105s out there on the market but one thing which i do appreciate is just that highlight that i've mentioned that was one of the first things that did stand out to me the fact that it goes across the brushing there and it gives you this lip of just polishing that for me does set it apart um and just hold it in your hand you'll know exactly what i mean and i will probably do a comparison with the 6105 and just to look at you know the case etc and why i feel this is so much better and still a lot of value for money so i hope you guys enjoyed that review and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section as always hit the like button if you liked it comment and make sure you hit the subscribe button and i will see you on the next video thank you everyone for watching mm -hmm.